Okay, so we're going to look at our next part of uh, straight lines today, and um, this is a continuation of plotting straight lines, which is what we looked at in the previous video, um, and it is both foundation and higher, okay? So if you're doing foundation, you need to be paying attention to this, um, and if you're doing higher, you also need to be paying attention to this, okay? Um, if you are doing higher, we're going to talk about two, we're going to talk about a different equation of straight line in a later video, okay? So just for now, just get focus on this one. Um, if you only remember this one, that would be fine. You could go through your whole math life only knowing this, okay? Um, right, the general equation of any straight line is y equals mx plus c. Okay, now I'm hoping most of you will have seen that before. Um, obviously, your y is referring to your y-axis, your y-coordinate, and your x is referring to your x-coordinate. So what are these m and the c referring to? Well, the m refers to your gradient okay so if that was a two in front of your x that would mean your line had a gradient of two what do i mean by gradient i mean the steepness so the higher the number the steeper the line okay the higher the gradient the steeper the line shall i write that down for you let's write it down so the higher gradient means the steeper the line okay that is what um, M means. That comes from the French word to climb, which is monte, to climb. Um, that is, I don't know if that will help you remember it, but there we go. That is the gradient. Okay. Now, the C refers to, very unhelpfully, the y-intercept. Okay. Now, what I mean by that is where it crosses the y-axis. Okay. So, if we just have a little, um, little sketchy sketch of... Ooh, something like that okay this line here might cross at this point here which is three okay and so the coordinate the equation of this line might be for example y equals uh, 2x plus 3 what that means is it crosses the y-axis at 3 so the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis is at three and the gradient is two okay if your line is not in the form y equals mx plus c you need to put it in the form and i'll talk to you about how you do that put it in the form of y equals mx plus c to be then be able to read off what your gradient is and what your y intercept is okay get this down somewhere really vital okay it's really really important Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just look at the kind of context they might ask you about this, um, particularly in foundation, but they could also ask, this was the first question on a higher tier paper like two years ago, um, so really important. So, here it wants us to write down the gradient and the y-intercept of each of these lines, okay? Um, now, I'm hoping this will be fairly straightforward, and if this question comes up in your exam, you're really laughing, okay? It's a nice question. Um, if you are doing the higher tier, they really like putting in equations of straight lines, okay? They, it's like their new favourite topic. So it's almost certainly going to come up. Um, and so we're going to do quite a lot of work on it, okay? Foundation, it is important that you guys know this too um, and that you hopefully try and understand what is going on. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to colour code it. We'll go as we go. Um, question one. Write down, so we're writing down the gradient and the y-intercept of the line y equals 3x plus 5. So this is already in the form y equals mx plus c. That is where our m is, so our gradient is 3. And our y-intercept is the number on the end, so our y-intercept is 5. Okay. What that means is it's a fairly steep line, it's got a gradient of 3, and it goes through um, 5 on the y-axis. Okay. So it looks something like that. That would be five. It's quite a steep line. Okay, obviously that's our y-axis. That's our x-axis. Okay, number two, it has a gradient of two and a y-intercept of one. So this line is going to be less steep than this line because the gradient is less, okay? And it's crossing your uh, y-axis at one. So this one's going to look more like that, okay? You'll see that's less steep and it's crossing at one, all right? Okay, this next one. So we've got a gradient of the number in front of x is minus 4. So my gradient is minus 4, and our y-intercept is going to be 7. Okay, 
Now, if it's got a negative gradient, that means, if you think about our last video where we had um, the line y equals minus x, is the line going this way, it means that instead of going that way, the line goes this way, okay? Um, so this is obviously going to be very steep because it's got a gradient of minus 4, and it's going to go through 7, so it's going to be like that, and that is 7, and it's got a gradient of minus 4, okay? Right, number uh, 4, it's got a gradient, the number in front of x is going to be 6, so that's going to be the steepest line we've had so far, I'm not going to draw this one, that's going to be the steepest line we have so far, so it's really steep. And it's got a y-intercept of minus 3, so that's going to mean it's crossing down here somewhere. Okay. When I say it's really steep, it's rel relative to the other lines. Okay. Obviously, you can have a gradient of 24. All right? That's just going to be very, very steep. Okay. Hmm. Right, question 5. y equals 5x. Number in front... Oh, well, oh yeah, I've done that. Be careful that that's minus 3, sorry. All right, make sure it's the... The sign in front of it is important too. Okay, question five. The number in front of x is five, so it's got a gradient of five. What's its y-intercept? What's on the end here? Well, it's zero. Okay, so what that means is it's quite steep and it crosses at zero, zero. Oh, that's meant to be a straight line, but it crosses at zero, zero. So it goes through the origin. All right, just be aware of that. That's what that means, y equals 5x. Okay, right, number six. We want the gradient. So the gradient is the number in front of x. Well, what's the number in front of x here? The number in front of x here is minus 6. And the y-intercept is the other number. So the y-intercept is 4. Okay? Right, and our last one. Do you remember just a minute ago when we were talking about the general equation of a straight line? I said that you need to have it in the form y equals mx plus c. And if it's not, you have to make it in that form. Well, the problem here is that this isn't y, this is 2y. So how do I get y on its own? I divide everything by 2. So if I divide everything by 2, I get y equals, that divided by 2 is 4, that divided by 2 is 3. So now my gradient is going to be 3, because that's the number in front of x, and the other number is going to be 4. So my gradient is 3, my y-intercept is 4. Okay? Um, I don't think I'll do any more. Oh, actually, I'll just do one more example, um, just to make sure you're happy. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's go for, we want to find the, um, let's do 3y equals 9 minus 11x. Okay? So, again, this isn't in the form y equals mx plus c. This is in the form 3y equals blah, 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 blah. Okay? So what we are going to do to get it to be y equals is we are going to divide by 3. Now it's much easier, if you've done any work on rearranging formulae, which if you're doing high, you definitely will have, you would write that as 9 minus 11x divided by 3. But it's much easier here if we divide each bit by 3 because then we can pull out what the gradient is and what the y-intercept is. Okay? So if we divide by 3, 9 divided by 3 obviously is 3. Then we've got to do 11 divided by 3. Now, obviously, 11 doesn't divide by 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it as a fraction. So 11 divided by 3, 11 over 3, x. Okay? Then it's easier to pull it out. So what is my gradient? My gradient is minus 11 over 3, which you can make into a um, mixed number fraction if you want, but you don't need to. Don't write it as a decimal because it's going to be a horrible recurring decimal. And the y-intercept is going to be 3. Okay? Right, that's sort of it for foundation. So foundation people, you are good to go. Higher, next video.